This video is going to show you just the basic steps in loom bead weaving. And I have a wire bead loom set up with 29 warp threads and 28 beads. And I'm doing a small tapestry that is going to be about water. Uh, so I'm using a blue, a blue, a mix of blue beads. The first step is to take a long thread. I have one about 18 inches long, and you're going to tie one end of it in a knot to the warp thread furthest to the right. And I tie it twice. And later on, after you're uh, finished using up the amount of thread that you have. Um, you will work this into a row of beads, the, you know, the end. Um, but you just need to tie the thread on there so that you can start. And then what you're going to do is use your needle. Um, I'm using size 11 seed beads, and I'm using a size 12 needle. Seed beads sometimes have small holes and uh, the size 12 needle um, allows you to be able to go through the bead twice if you need to. So there you can see I've got that tied on the last warp thread and I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Here's the other end of the needle and I'm going to pick up uh, 28 beads. I have small containers here that hold the beads and I'll pick up 28 beads With a mix like this, you can kind of just stick the needle in there and pick them up. You want to make sure you pick up the right amount. Uh, so you may have to recount them a couple of times. Now I think that's 21. Let's just double check. Yep, 21. And that's 28. And then you take, um, you work the beads so that they're at the right hand end of the thread. And that you have all that extra thread on the left uh, with the needle. And as you can see, they're dangling underneath uh, the loom. And these wire looms um, do have a nice clearance underneath so that you have plenty of room to work with your hand. And what you do is you just line that row of beads up, and with your right hand, if you're right-handed, um, you pop the beads up through the warp threads that you've set up. And because the beads are coming from the underneath, you're going to go above the warp threads into the top of the beads. And so you want to hold the beads firmly up above the warp threads. And then you just work that thread through the beads. And that is what keeps the beads basically on the fabric because the thread comes underneath once and then above once um, over, the, over and underneath the warp thread so that the bead is held in the middle. It's very simple. It can be time consuming depending on the size of beads you're using. And especially if you're working from a chart or a pattern, it can take longer. 
this piece is just, uh, like I said, about water, so I'm just using a mix of blues, and it's fairly quick to work like this, and um, 28 warps wide is, um, it's almost as wide as the loom, so about two and a half inches, it'll be a little less than that when it's off the loom, and you could make a bracelet, you could make bookmarks, you can make um, tapestries like I do, or uh, there's so many things you could make with a fabric made out of beads. So that those are the steps for weaving on a loom. And I want to point out uh, something about this uh, wire bead loom. I had done another video showing um, that the, the wire bead looms actually are pretty good looms to use. This one, like I said, is warped up with 29 warp threads, 28 beads. The springs that hold the warp threads in place are, are good springs, but they tend to, to push themselves down for some reason. So what I do is I take a piece of masking tape and I put across the warp threads right there so that while you're working, um, the work doesn't pop up off of there. Once you get the first couple of rows in, it doesn't really matter, but, um, you know, it, it just keeps it tighter. Uh, it keeps the warp tension tighter, and you don't want uh, these to pop off. These can be a little bit finicky in the way that if you over-tighten them to keep the warp threads very, very tight, then you're um, avoiding the warp threads popping off of here. But depending on whether or not you've put washers on the thing here, you could have the whole roller pop off, and then that's a problem. Um, so I have uh, tape at the other end also. And um, it's very easy to <coughs> excuse me, use one of these very simple looms to make uh, beaded tapestries or uh, headbands, um, all the different things that you see, bracelets, you can use um, wire. You can do wire beading and make uh, stiff bracelets. Now, um, even though I like these, they're economical, they're convenient uh, to have around, I currently have uh, four looms set up um, with projects or waiting for projects. One is a vertical pipe loom, one is a wooden Ojibwe loom, and three are these wire looms. Um, I'm, I have set them up ahead of time, I've warped them, so that if I feel like starting a project, I've got uh, this waiting for me. I have an art table that I can store them on, uh, keep them on, so that they don't get knocked around, they don't get uh, moved, they're ready to weave on. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because the wire looms, this one in particular, is a little bent out of shape. So it doesn't quite sit flat. Um, so even though they're portable and convenient, um, y if you're going to warp it up in advance like, a, like I have, then you want to make sure you have a table to put it on because if you just toss it somewhere, there's a chance that all the warp will loosen up or the roller will pop off. And um, they're good looms to have around. Basic bead loom weaving is very simple, as I just showed you. And um, you just have to make sure that a few little things that you, you're doing with this type of loom, such as putting washers here, taping down the warp, and um, not minding that the loom moves around a little bit. Those are the issues you might face with using uh, this type of loom for basic loom bead weaving.